Hey, this is Dustin with Kruger's Training Academy and also Kruger Instruments. Today I wanted to show you guys real quick the differences between a Watts TK9A and a Kruger Instruments TK1. If you notice, they are almost exactly the same as far as the body goes. Um, they're basically both made by Orange Research and they're basically the same form, same everything. There's two big key differences though. First one, if you notice, we only have one hose and one valve. This actually makes it much easier to, to do most of the tests. You have fewer steps, saves time in the field, and you only actually need one hose per the new ASSC uh, 2015. So the ASSC 5000-2015 test procedures, their new book, it has included what they call one hose method for both the, for the RP, double check PVB, and the spill resistant. So most test procedures in general for the DCV and the PVB will only use one hose, will only utilize one hose, but now they've added the RP. So now you can really test any type of preventer, any place per ASSC's standards with only one hose. Now, if you notice though, the Watts Regulator 9, TK9A, it has all this extra stuff. Like you got three hoses, you got three valves, um, you got all these extra connection pieces. So it's really kind of cumbersome to take out in the field. And you know, if you ever drop one of these, a lot of these fittings will break and things like that. So it's much more efficient construction with only the one hose. And also it makes, it allows us to charge a lower price, which is always good for the customers. The second big difference is that, you notice the Watts regulator goes all the way to 15. So it's like zero to 15 and ours only goes zero to 10. Um, and you're never gonna need to be, have more than 10 because the maximum test that you're gonna need for the RP would be at least five. So if it's pegged out at 10, like if it's really 11, but it's pegged out at 10, that's not a problem. You just write down 10 because it only has to be more than five. Um, but one of the big reasons that's a problem is because some jurisdictions, they require your gauge to be accurate to within 0 0.2 PSI. And this valve construction through Orange Research is a, what they call 2% accuracy. So it's 2% of the whole gauge range. So if you have a range of 15, it's actually only accurate to within 0 0.3. So some jurisdictions won't allow that. So anyway, the two big differences between them is one valve and only goes to 10. And again, these are actually on sale right now for 500 each. Uh, you can buy online at KrugerInstruments.com. Um, that's about it.